strong game in that um, we seemed to have the right mindset from the start to the finish and we generated um, we had two or three really good chances before we scored and then you start to worry that Eels try to force things and I thought we were in real strong control of what we were trying to do uh, for the whole night. Three goals in that first period in 59 seconds, a franchise record. What sparks that offensive outburst? Uh, skilled players, right? And then you got to get a break, right? One comes off the boards back to us, but we, we try to be on the puck as much as we can and we try to force as many turnovers as we can and we were pretty good in that department tonight. Anton Lindell, do you have an update? Um, uh, so he came back. It, it, it just didn't loosen up. He may well be fine uh, tomorrow, or or not, I guess. But it's not something that's on a long term or a concern. He just he got out there, he tightened up, and couldn't go. We've already seen it quite a bit this season with that Bennett Kachuk duo. So yeah, there. they've got they, they play off each other. I think um, Sam's got so much quickness, kind of in straight line. He pulls people off, and Matthew can just wait to pluck out. You know, he can hold on to a puck and find a hole. Um, they've been really good together, and that's kind of why we've kept them together at times. It didn't doesn't seem to matter who Matthew plays with, but he, Sam and he have something going for sure. Uh, Niners night 17 is eight there in the third period to shut the door. Yeah, I thought, you know what, what we haven't done recently for our goaltenders is give them a great opportunity to have a big night. We've We've had some games early in the year where we didn't, allow a lot of shots but we allowed some high danger i think there was volume there tonight but the danger wasn't as it's been in the past you continue to have a tremendous unwavering confidence in your team despite mm. the outcome why is that uh outcome? i watched the game so <laughs> we have done a vast majority of the things very well we are still learning um but i'm not a huge analytics guy but all of them say we're right near the upper third, fifth of the league. We're, we're in pretty good shape. Um, it's important to win without your captain in the lineup. So yeah, I got lots of faith in this, these guys and where they're going. What's been revealed about this group's character? I think they love each other. That's the most important thing. I mean, that bench is good. They care for each other. They support each other. Uh, they like each other. And you can go a long way on that kind of, yeah, they love each other. And lastly, how does a win like this change the complexion of the rest of this road trip? We're going to find that out in Seattle. It gives you a chance to go from, you know, what could have been a real tough, and now you're looking at this road trip, and you're hoping it can be a great road trip. So we're in a position to have that happen. And how special is it for your group to see Roberto well It's great, honored right? Like this and and, as well? and I think you feel an appreciation from the community here. So I think only Aaron Eckblad would have played with Roberto. I think that's right. So. For these guys, he's a Hall of Famer, but they, but he's a senior Hall of Famer, right? He's so they get to understand how important he was for this community. Thanks. Okay, Thanks. guys.